you've got to think of your social media audience as a little town. So say if your social media audience has 300 people following it on Facebook. Okay, so they all live in this little town, okay? And they walk about that town, they go to work in that town, they drive in that town. And when they're on their journeys, you think about the journey of them scrolling through social media, they'll pass billboards, okay? You need to think of your social media posts as those billboards dotted around the town, okay? Not everybody from the town or your audience will see every billboard or every social media post. They might pass one or two of them out of 10, okay? But with that billboard, it's very rare that they will walk up to that billboard, take a selfie with it, and share it to their friends, okay? It will be very rare that they look up at the billboard and say, oh, I like that. But we're expecting people to do that on social media. So billboards, we pass them every single day, yet we don't even give them a second thought. People will do that with social media posts. But just because they didn't give the billboard a second thought, it doesn't mean that they didn't take in the information or take in your branding. So even if somebody scrolls past your post or walks past a billboard in this analogy, they take in the branding, the logo, the message. So just because they don't like, comment, or share that post, it doesn't mean that they haven't taken it in. On the topic of social platforms, what's your view on brokers coming at this in terms of should they be on every single social platform? It, from a time perspective, should they be focusing more on particular social platforms at the moment? And if so, which ones and why? Okay, so this is my personal view. Facebook, still number one platform for service-led businesses. Okay, so mortgage broker, estate agent, um, selling video services. Facebook is fantastic for that. Instagram is a great channel if you have a product to sell, something a bit more sexier, a pair of shoes, a bit of clothing, because you can take photos of it. But caveat, Instagram is very good if you want to sell your company off the back of your face because you can use the likes of Instagram stories to show you what you do and behind the scenes content. Okay. 